right? This is not the end of the road. And Ezekiel, O mortal one, started to bring the word of God to these them their bones. Amen? This world right now needs to hear the words of God through you, Ezekiel. Amen? Every one of us is Ezekiel today. Because I don't know about you, but I ain't afraid, and I will not be afraid. And I am tired of being made to be afraid. I am tired of being told that, oh my God, the sky is falling, because it's not. Because you know what? My God put the sun in the sky and the moon in the sky, and my God created this world in however many years or days you feel like saying it is, but my God made this world <laughs> and all of the magnificence of this universe. And our God, our loving God, has not left us, but is with us in these times of death and despair. Amen? Amen. I think that these bones, I believe that they, that they had a revival, if you will. Amen? I think that they had a revival of sorts because, you know, revive, you know me and I, I got to bring you some trivia. Revive, revival comes from a Latin word that means to live again. And them, them, their bones lived again, which means they had a revival. Anybody here need a revival? Anybody need a revival of their spirit today? Anybody need a revival of hope today? Anybody needs right now to know that God has not left you today? Does anybody need to be reminded of God's love? Does anybody here need to be reminded that God is bigger than the stock market? Does anybody here need, amen? Does anybody here need to be reminded that it doesn't matter how much of our tax money is being wasted on somebody's vacation? Because, you know, I, I'm just looking at this going, I know universal law. I, I'm serious. I, I, know, I, I, I know that they will not enjoy a cent of that. Amen? Amen? And every Sunday we have somebody who comes up here and calls the offering and oftentimes rem reminds us, reminds us that when we give, even when it's hard, that we are blessed. Amen? I don't want anybody to leave here today going, Ooh. I want people, if you've lost a job, to turn to somebody and ask for help. I, I want, if somebody is hungry today, not to leave here without food and not be ashamed of it. You know, we got food back here, and if we don't have enough, see Reverend Alex, he'll get food for you. You know what I'm so excited about? I'm so excited that this week, Reverend Alex, myself, and Reverend Dan from Hollywood Lutheran, and Reverend Rachel from Holly, uh, UCC Church, right around the corner from us, met. And you know how today happens to be HopeNet Sunday, and you know how we collect every fourth Sunday for HopeNet? because it goes to buy food for food pantries. Do you know what we're going to do? The three of us are joining together to have a Hope Net Pantry blocks from here. And that you know what? We're going to help staff. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen? Because people need the word, and they need food, too. Amen? They need food, too. And it was really fun. We were sitting there, Reverend Alex and I were sitting there, and we were going, you know, they're having, they've got to figure out where they're going to put it, and we're like, build it, build it, build it, build it, because we got the people. I know we got the people. You know, none of you said, sure, I'll help, but I'm like, we got the people. I know we got the people. I know, I, I know we got the people. <laughs> and you will not let me down. Amen. Because I believe Amen? And I know that there are some other churches that need to see that God is still alive through God's people. Amen? 
Reverend Rachel, I was telling, I was saying, I just wish we had the space. I wish we had the space. And Reverend Rachel said, I'm glad you don't. I'm like. <laughs> she said, because if you did, if you did, we wouldn't be blessed. She says, you got the people. And we got the space. And do you understand that we can help another congregation get on fire for God? Do, do you understand what you got here? That we can help other people get on fire for doing God's work. Amen? I don't know about you, but I went home kind of smiling after that. I'm like, build it, build it, build it. God has not left us, friends. God is here now. Some of us are those dry bones. Some of us are those dry bones. Some of us have died so many deaths. And somebody, some of us have seen so much death around us. It's hard to say, okay, it can happen again. But just as the breath of God blew from the four directions, the breath of God blew into those people. Because it, those bones and the sinew and the flesh, it, they all came back together. And see, Ezekiel helped make that happen, right? Because he prophesied to them. But it took God. It took God to bring it back to life. I want you to be stubborn. I want you to be so stubborn in your faith that you will not let anything, not a decrease in a paycheck, n n not, not health issues, not relationship issues, not car troubles. I don't want anything. I don't want anything to keep us today from feeling the breath of God blowing fully and completely within us. Amen? There's a revival that these them their bones felt. And I guarantee you that the Holy Spirit that breathed breath of life into those bones is breathing it into you and me today. God needs us not to be soldiers. I don't like that metaphor. We're not to be soldiers, but we are to be lovers of God. We are to be the sons and daughters of God and the brothers and sisters of Jesus. And we are to go into this world as my favorite saying is, make shift happen. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. <laughs> oh, precious, precious God, you who, you who have exceeded any and all of our expectations, my prayer is, is that as we absorb the word this day, as we allow your spirit to just continue to rejuvenate our hearts and our minds and our souls, that you will once again bring us back together and knit us together as community and allow us to hold each other up in any time of sorrow, that we will not lose our faith and that we indeed shall be revived again. Lift us up, but don't allow us just to stand. Let us go forth and dance and love and live and show the world that you are not dead at all, that you are present and heaven is still here on earth. Blessings upon blessings. Amen and amen. amen.